Hey everyone, this is Rexus and Saul, and welcome back to Let's Play Streets of Rage. On this episode, we're going to take it very slow, bit by bit. There's an ambush waiting for us here. So we don't want to, we don't want to two enemy enemies get us once, because as you can see, we have three, just three enemies on screen. I took a lot of damage, so just don't go to Alpha. Health is quite scattered in this level as well, so just be careful. But we will encounter new dangers in this level, as you'll see shortly. Indeed. And as you can see, we made our way from a beach to a shipyard dock thing. Yeah, we're here. I always thought it was a highway type thing. Maybe it is, I don't know what it is. I, 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 who cares? Yeah, who cares? The main point is we're trying to find the syndicate leader so we can defeat him. And we're having great fun pulverizing people. Of course, of course. I love throwing people. So much fun. If only we knew where the syndicate headquarters was, we could ask our police buddy with the car to actually drop us off there and, you know, save all the side scrolling through many different areas. But there's it's no fun in that. Of course there isn't. We play this game for fun! As you can see guys, pitfalls. And pitfalls can be your best friend and your worst enemy, depending on how you use them, so just be careful. You can throw your enemies into them, or you can fall into them and lose yeah. lives. And as you can tell, losing lives is never a good thing. It's not fun. Unless you want a real challenge. Yeah, unless you want to try and clear this game with, you know, one life, which is doable, but requires some perfect playing, really. You know, it's pretty a bit ridiculous and challenging, but... Ah, well. Some people like the challenge, yeah? Yeah, indeed. As you see, I just threw an enemy into a pitch that will instantly kill them, no matter what. So, yeah, that's just something to bear in mind. Need some help. Yeah, you need help. <laughs> That guy came through the working very fast, so as punishment, we kicked him into the pit. Your best bet is to try and get as many hits as you can before the enemy runs off. I let Saw take care of this guy, he has a lot of health, and Saw has a weapon, so. Whoa, whoa. Ah, well. This why we have backup weapons. And we've killed him. My bad. Yay! Ah, sure it happens. Don't worry about it. We're almost out of time. Ah, we got a refill. Yay! Two pitfalls very close to each other. But with lives in the middle. Much needed lives. Hooray! Uh, and some more. You need it. Yeah. Sorry for hogging all the health. Ah, you're okay. You need it. <laughs> See, I just landed on my feet there. Sorry, sorry, I made stronger. Right. Yeah, try and land your feet if you can. It's a nice way of saving yourself a bit of damage. I picked up a useless bottle, so I'm gonna try and get rid of this as I can. Try and be careful here, guys. It's yeah, very just don't narrow... walk down, just don't walk down, you walk straight to that fish. And... That'll, that'll ruin your day. I hate those guys with daggers. Yeah, they're quite annoying. Oh, thanks! I'm gonna take a lot of damage there. I like the way the bottle breaks when you hit the enemy the first time, but... Nice touch. Yeah, it doesn't make an overall better weapon, really. As you can see, the city in the background there. Do you want me to take that health, or do you want that health? Uh, you take it. Okay. I took all the rest. Thank you. Almost there, anyway. Yeah, we're nearly at the end. Pass this. Oh, look! <laughs> some much needed turkeys! Well, not much needed, but we'll probably use them, though. Don't worry about the fact it's only one, we'll get another one very short. So, don't be too needy with it, because you're going to get another one too enough anyway. If you're playing on two player, if you're playing on single player. Yeah, if you're playing on single player, the health pickups, as well as lives, everything gets reduced. Even enemy counts, so just something to bear in mind. Great. Let's go. Wow, I'm that taken out. I'm going to try and get this turkey up here. You need it. Yeah, I needed that quite badly, but uh, we're healthy again, so. Yay! Okay, we'll just tell you now, this is the final area of this level, and once you hear the music about the change and changes to the boss music, we're going to show you a very special trick you can utilize in. Very special trick. Very, very useful. Probably the best way for beating these guys. Yeah, definitely the best way for beating these guys. 
especially in the later levels when you don't have backup, let's just say. Right. Yeah. Just keep walking onto the top corner screen, walk slanty into the screen, and when these bosses enter, you'll grab them. Unless you mess up like I just did. If you mess up like I did, yeah, you're gonna have a bad day. So Watch we're just gonna call in our cops just to save some time. So watch out for that guy running around to me a He's a real annoyance. What you want to do is walk into him, knee him twice, walk away and walk quickly back into him and do repeat. Well said, well said. Make sure you don't finish your combo. If they get off that flame bread attack, they can really... Whoa. Right, One Just like that. Just like that. You see? We kind of got lucky there that we didn't use our flame breath that frequently, but they can be very easy or very hard boss depending on how you look at it. But that does it for this episode of Let's Play Streets of Rage! Rage. This is Rexus and Saul signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye.